Hi, it's Cindy A. Lewis, and I want to share with you an unboxing. I guess you can't tell what it is, but has anyone ever gone crazy for HSN Craft Day? Really and truly. So I wanted to unbox the Gemini Go with you from Crafter's Companion. This is the small Gemini that is a die cut and embossing machine that you can take with you anywhere and use a um, like a portable battery that is um, what 1.5 at least 10,000 megahertz I believe something like um, this one that I had already you know a power bank like this so anyway and I um, ordered some of her luxury cardstock here. So I'm gonna unbox that. And then this is the storage little bag that goes with it. It'll fit in it with extra plates and whatever, and you can take it with wherever you go. So anyway, let's get to okay, it. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep this in frame the very best that I can. And I have been wanting to do this unboxing with you for this embossing die cutting machine. And this is electronic, so you don't have to turn a wheel for it. And it is incredible. So inside the box is the note. Um, please note, Gemini. Okay, here we go, do not go. Shows you, oh, this is, this is the, uh, external uh, battery pack booster cable. So you have to get the battery pack separately, which I told you. Okay, so then you got that. So inside the box, you also got the sheets for your storage notebook. Then you also get these die cuts and a, what all do you get? Goodness. You get, oh, the die cuts have a magnetic backing so that they'll fit in your notebook. <laughs> and here we go. Here we go. I can't wait. Okay. Here it is the Gemini Go. So it's lightweight portable. The plate size are six inch by three inch. It is a multimedia, portable multimedia machine, cuts, embosses, and more on the go. And then here's the top. It says battery operate compatible with a 1.5 volt 12A battery pack using Gemini Go battery booster cable. And then let's see what else do we need to take me on the go. Does anyone own a Gemini Go? I just have to know, did you get it? Did you get the Gemini Go? I'm just so excited. Okay, enclosed in the box, you get the Go. You get two clear cutting plates, a metal cutting plate, a magnetic shim, plastic shim, rubber embossing mat, user guide, and AC adapter. So you get all of that. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so comment below. I love to read your comments, so let me know. Do you have a Gemini? Do you have a Gemini Junior? Or do you have a Gemini Go? Or do you have all of them? Or do you also go crazy on HSN Crafting Day? Just like me. Okay, so let's open the box. Okay, here we go. So let's open the machine. Open the box, I mean. Okay, here are instructions in the user guide. Ooh, register, ooh, I have to do that. Now, Crafter's Companion is out of the UK, but they make things in inches for us, and they make some really great crafting things. And if you have not ever bought anything, you might be interested to look it up or visit HSN. Okay, here are the, the shims. Here's the plastic one, metal cutting plate, rubber mat, magnetic shim, clear cutting plate, clear cutting plate. Okay, definitely have to read the directions on how to use that. Okay, sorry about my rulers back there. Should have moved them. Okay. Yeah. Uh. 
only weighs four pounds. So I do know that. Home heart starting. This is this is the cutest thing ever. I have to tell you, it is so cute. And I could not resist. Plus, it will help me make all my crafts, right? Now I have to organize my dies. So I know what I have. Okay. So this is the Gemini Go. This is the power button, the pause, and the back. Okay. I don't know what these do. Power, power. Okay. Looks pretty straightforward. Here is the plug-in. Alrighty. So, so I've got her plugged in. And let's open up the rest of the packages that came with it. Or that I ordered alongside of it. Okay, what all is in here? In here, we've got... I guess it came with an embossing envelope. Butterfly Dreams, you can see that. Then here's some stamps that came with it that go with these, these dies that will fit into the Gemini Go. Some of the stamps, how cute are they? Some more dies, yay! So excited. And there's another embossing folder of the tree and another cut and emboss. So I guess it has a die cut and a frame. I'll have to try that. Oh, can't wait. Okay, so we've got all that that came with it. And this is the adapter. Uh, oh, sorry. This is the adapter that allows you to use the battery pack like this. So you plug this in instead of the power and then plug it into your battery pack. So we'll have to try that too. All right, what else did I order? Okay, I ordered the storage bag. So I'm going to open that. This is it. Oh, is that adorable? And it's purple. So, okay. I'm not even trying to find the end of it. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Okay. I've been so excited to open this. Okay. Here's the little bag. And it has straps. And then it has a shoulder strap. And then the little go will fit right in. Let's unplug it and just put it in. Let's see. Fits right in there. Just like that. Perfect. And then you've got pockets for your dies, for your, your shims, like this, whatever you need. Is that cute? Or oh, what? Oh my gosh. I'm way too excited about that. Okay, so here's the strap. Just put that on. And I'm ready to go crafting. Okay, and it does have Crafter's Companion. It has all the pockets. It's very nice. It has pockets on the inside as well. Nice. Okay, so we're going to just put that back there. And let's open some of the cardstock that goes with it. I'm going to plug that in. Because we have got to learn how to use that puppy. All right. Now, these were sheets that are luxury cardstock that are already cut to fit the machine. And I thought for the little price that it was, it was just worth it, you know, to get the nice cardstock and not have to cut up mine necessarily for the small size of the machine. So I got the gold. It has glitter and metallic. Isn't that pretty? You get 30 sheets in each one of these. And then this is like a, a brown, but it has the, the glitter and then the metallic. They're calling that brown. 
and this one is green and pink, silver, I can see all kinds of Christmas here, and then purple, 30 sheets in each, and you get 10 pads, so you get 300 sheets. So this is rose bulb, or what they call rose bulbs, and blues, very pretty, and then this is called black, ooh, nice. And then this is a holly green, okay, very nice. Okay, so I guess the next thing we do is read instructions. So you can cut all kinds of things with this. You can cut uh, material, you can cut denim, you can cut cork, you can cut cardstock, you can cut regular paper. Um, let's see, you can cut foil, you can cut, let's see, all kinds of things. So um, use the metal shim with thin shim can be at any level of the sandwich. The magnetic shim is best for use beneath your die and positioning to hold your die in place. The shim should never be used above your die as the die can cut through it. Okay, so I've got to learn all this. Okay, level surface. Okay, so to cut a thin metal die, we need our clear cutting plate. Then we would want our material, then we would want our die, and then our magnetic shim, then our plastic shim, plastic, and then the other cutting plate. Okay, so we got a little sandwich going here. All right, so let's give it a whirl. There we go, so you can see all that. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna try is this cut and emboss. A die cut and embossing folder at the same time. Although it resembles a plain embossing folder when run through the standard machine, it will also cut several pieces of elegant. Okay. All right, so let's give it a whirl. Let's open it up. Open that baby up. Okay. All right. So I'm not sure how you Okay. All right, so, oh, you put it all in at the same time. See? Okay. So, I would assume we're going to turn it on. Do I have it plugged in? Oh, I have to turn it on in the back. There we go. Oh, and the lights are purple. <laughs> okay, so what color do we want to do? How about... About blue, yeah. All right, let's do the the metallic so that we can really see. This is really thick. Wow. Okay. We've got our metallic, and we're gonna open up our clear cutting plate. So that's a clear cutting plate. Got to learn all this. Then we put the top the die. How do we do this? Okay. Okay, I'm going to assume we do it this way. What do you think? I'm new at this. Okay, so we got our sandwich. So I don't know if we need this. Uh, let's see. Embossing, embossing 2D. Okay, here's a 2D. Yeah, you don't need that other part. Okay, so then we just need the other clear cutting plate. Okay. I assume that's 2D. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll try it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in this way so that it's not like all of a sudden hitting this thing. Okay, so just feed it into the machine. Let's 
exciting is that? Well, that didn't seem too bad. Okay. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so we take this out. And we take, oh, wow. Can you see that? That's amazing. And then this stuff, oh, look at that. So then I guess you could really kind of make a card. Almost, you know. That is so pretty. Wow, that just fell out too. Okay, do we wanna try another one? Okay, so we got this. Let's do this on, uh, let's do this rose gold. What do you think? This is really pretty paper. I almost hate to waste it on just trying things, but surely I'll use these. All right, so I'll put this material inside the folder like this, okay. And it's gonna emboss and deboss. And it says for the 3D you need, I think it's just because you need the extra um, for pressure. So we'll take that magnetic shim and it's just a piece of magnet. And we put it under here and then we need the plastic shim on top. Now this is quite interesting. But it shouldn't be too hard to learn, yeah? Okay, so we've got that, and our machine is on, so we're just gonna put it, put it in this way. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. You can hear it working. So I really want to know if you guys have used this or the Gemini and how it works for you and, and what you've made with it. I mean, I'm really excited about this. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. So we're going to take this apart and then we're going to open up. Now this is 3D. And oh my gosh. Can you see that? Beautiful. Wow. And of course the paper makes it, but still. And it's got the, the deboss on the back. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Wow. Oh, I love that. Okay, so we have to die cut something. Hold okay, on. so with the pack, I got two sets of die cuts. This one has six pieces and this one has 11. It's a little chair, little... Um, bird house and bird and a tree and some branches and things and this one oh i got more <laughs> okay um and then flowers and then this one wow this one has frames and it says hello and happy birthday okay so which should we do i don't even know okay let's do the tree i want to do the tree okay so we'll do the tree and we'll pick the brown. Okay. Okay. So we'll just get that die off of here. Oh, look at all these. Wow. Okay. So you want to make sure when you're die cutting something that you put the, um, the side with the deep impression down on what you're wanting to to deck it, right? Okay, so I need the brown. That was kind of at the beginning. So should we use the glitter? We haven't used the glitter yet, so let's use the glitter. Let's just try that. All right, so, so for a die cut to cut, this is a thin metal die. So we put the clear plastic plate, then we put the plastic shim, then we put the magnetic shim. Then we put the die cut. Then we put the material, and I want it this way. And then we put the other cutting plate on top. 
All right, I think I got it. I think I'm getting it. All right, here we go. Oh, you can hear it cutting. That's cool. Should we cut material? I think we should cut some material before we go. You can't tell I'm excited, right? Not at all. And then I think if it's like, you know, like if you have a really intricate dye, you can send it back through again if you need to. All right, here we go. So I'm going to take that out. You can kind of see where it cut. Okay. And then here's the material. I mean, here's the tree. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oh, it's stuck in there. Hold on. I don't want to tear it. This really, really cut. Look at that. I didn't even have to really do anything. Can you see it? Okay, let me, let me put this so you can see. Can you see that? Um, maybe like that. Is that amazing? I mean, I didn't even have to pick the pieces out. Wow, and look at this. I mean, it's per they're all stuck together. Unbelievable. Is that crazy? Wow, look at that. So one thing that, you know, you might want to invest in if you have one of these is like, um, a Xyron or something where you can put it through to get all the adhesive on the back really well so that when you stick it down to a card or a page or whatever, um, you know, you can get enough adhesive on there without having to try real hard. That's incredible. I love it. Okay. So we wanted to do some material, right? Okay. So let's do that. Let me find... A piece of material real quick okay well my battery pack is not the right size so mine is five volt and this is, needs to be 12 and this is enough ampage like uh, or maybe what it megahertz but this is requires 12 volts. So anyway, I will try that. can get that later on. But I just want to thank you for joining me. I hope that you enjoy it. And if you have the Gemini Go, I'd love to hear from you. I'd also love to hear if you, um, what kind of things you make with it. And if you have the larger Gemini or the, um, the Junior Miss or whatever it's called. Junior. Okay, so let's try this. I, I want to do it anyway. This is the last thing. <clears throat> so I have all kinds of fun equipment here at my house. I've been crafting forever and ever. But I have to tell you, I have not used the Gemini Go. So look how pretty that is. That's really pretty. I kind of put it in crooked, but I'm going to learn to do better. So anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope I've inspired you. I'd love to hear if you have the Gemini Go. And comment below and have a great night or day or whatever.